Everywhere we look, it is very apparent the world has gone mobile. Everyone is on a device. In 2008, Apple introduced mobile apps. It is known that over 150 billion apps have been downloaded. Today, the question we have to ask ourselves is, who's going to own the future customer? And even more importantly, who's targeting my customer? And what type of tools are they using to capture my customer and gain market share? Home buyers initiate, on average, eight real estate transactions in a lifetime. Stop and think about that. Will I get all eight? Today's research suggests that 92% of home buyers use online as a significant part of their home search. This means they'd rather find their home online as opposed to going through a real estate agent. 70% of all homes viewed online nationwide occur on a mobile device. These are crazy facts. They're facts. Everybody starts online. I mean, I think the statistic is that 30% of the people are looking at houses online every week. I think it's more than that. Where are your customers looking for real estate information? Most likely on lead aggregation websites and real estate mobile apps. These sites receive over 80 million consumer hits each month. How do these lead aggregator sites make their money? They get your customers to come to their websites and download their real estate apps. Then they capture your customer's information and sell them and resell them again and again as leads to your competitors. Whether you buy leads or not, you don't want your customers to be sold and resold to your competition. Now most people I found when I ask, how are you looking for homes? How are you searching for housing information? They almost always say Zillow and Trulia, almost always. And I love to take the opportunity to tell them that, you know, those sites, they coin themselves as real estate sites, but they're really not. They're marketing sites. And they make their money by selling your information to other people. And if you've ever noticed, the information on those are inaccurate about half of the time. Something one day really clicked with me. And I think it was when I started to realize that Zillow and those other places were not only inaccurate, but they were trying to take my clients from me. In some markets, only 47% of the listings have the correct sales prices and only 60% of the available listings. Think of how frustrating and misleading this could be to us, but most importantly, our customers. Zillow, Trulia, and other lead aggregators are spending over $100 million per year on marketing to attract your customers. Our customers, or your customers, are out downloading other real estate apps every day. NAR says that customers are five times more likely to contact a real estate agent when they're searching for real estate on their mobile device as opposed to when they're on their desktop. Why are your customers downloading real estate mobile apps? Because everyone is curious about real estate. There are two phases in a consumer's home buying process. The education phase, followed by the transaction phase. Most home buyers spend 90% of their time in the education phase. They research, looking online and checking mobile apps. And it typically takes a home buyer 6 to 12 months to make a decision to buy. Most loan officers and real estate agents spend their time and money looking for buyers who are already in the buying phase, which is only 10% of the available transactions at any given time. We found, in most cases, uh, everyone has a research or education phase that they go through. And they're trying to gather information. They really want to do this before they even talk to somebody. And they're out there and they're skimming the internet right now. And sadly, they're, they're accessing inaccurate data that's just going to spin them into a headache and frustration. There's this whole development and evolution of your, your attitude and opinion as you're collecting information. Because to do a decision, you're going to need to feel educated and in control and that you know what you're doing to, to make this big of a decision in your life. Very few lenders and real estate agents spend any time trying to capture buyers and sellers prior to the point of sale. Yet this is where 90% of our customers and our commissions are. Whoever gets to the consumer first wins every time. It's no longer about market share. It's about mobile app share. If your customers are downloading other real estate mobile apps, this is a commission problem. When I found out that my customers were out using other real estate mobile apps, I knew I had to do something about it now. Today, everyone's going mobile. Because of the easy access to real estate information through websites and mobile apps, consumers are moving through the education phase much faster than ever before. You need to be where your customers are before they make a buying decision.